Hillary Clinton today in New York refusing to answer questions about the latest Durham filing. She ignored questions from reporters at the New York Democrat convention meeting earlier today. Joining us now, Heritage Foundation senior legal fellow Hans von Spakosti. It's great to see you, Hans. What's your reaction to Hillary Clinton saying this is basically fake news and nonsense, what special counsel Durham is, is saying? Well, that's not credible because, you know, the high-tech executive uh, who John Durham says was uh, covertly scooping up the Internet traffic at the Trump Tower in the White House, Look, he's issued a statement in which he's basically admitting that he did it, but instead he tried to justify it, saying, well, he perceived a national security threat, which, of course, we know uh, didn't exist. So uh, uh, Hillary Clinton saying, oh, this didn't happen. Well, the guy accused of doing it has basically admitted he did it. Yeah, we've got breaking news. John Durham and his team filed another court filing, uh, basically rebutting the attorneys from Michael Sussman, the former Clinton campaign lawyer, who pleaded not guilty to lying to the FBI in this. Uh, basically, they're trying to dismiss the Durham prosecution. The Durham team is saying what we put in our motion is factual. We have evidence to back right. it up. So, Hans, let's take let, let's take out the words Trump and Clinton. Is it really OK for any government contractor to get paid to turn over computer data they got from the White House to a political campaign to knock out an opponent uh, to knock out a rival? Is it OK? Is that OK to do that? No, absolutely not. It is shocking that the White House computers were penetrated like this or that that um, uh, Internet traffic was actually uh, uh, collected from even a private uh, server at the Trump Tower and at Trump's um, uh, apartment in Central Park. In fact, look, there's a federal law, uh, the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, which makes it a criminal violation to uh, access uh, government computers without authorization, or if you've got authorization to go beyond what that authorization is. That certainly fits uh, what these folks did at the White House. And, and like I said, that's a potential criminal yeah. violation of the law. And constitutional rights of the Americans who have their Oh, also their information scooped up. Does the media really right. think does the media really think it helps their credibility to try to personally attack federal prosecutor John Durham? He worked on the Whitey Bulger Mafia case involving FBI right. informants. Also the CIA torture interrogation case. Even Obama's AG Eric Holder appointed Durham on that. Yeah, no, all they're trying to do is distract from the really startling information he's given. Look, he's a 35 year veteran of the Justice Department, well-respected, a professional, and attacking him is just their way of trying to not cover this story, which it involves, look, electronic espionage by one campaign against another, something that has never really happened in American political history like this. Yeah, using White House computer information and a yes. private Trump Tower, Central Park, West Apartment, uh, building. You know, Clinton's team, the computer researchers, knew the Trump Alpha Bank allegations were a, quote, red herring. This is according to Durham's right. indictment of Sussman. One, one researcher admitted in August 2016, they would need to expose every trick we have in our bag to even make a very weak association. That's a direct quote. The only thing that drives us at this point is we just don't like Trump. But, you know, we right. had MSNBC's Rachel Maddow pounding away at this. We had a lot of MSCB anchors all day long for years pounding away at what the FBI debunked and discredited as something that didn't happen. There was no Trump Organization Alpha Bank connection. CNN went full bore on it. So, you know, now there's silence, radio silence on this. Trump said they were spying on me. A.G. Barr said they were spying. They got slammed. Why the radio silence now? Well, because they're embarrassed that they pursued and pushed a fake story and that when they were calling Donald Trump paranoid and crazy when he said he was being spied on at the Trump Tower, it turns out he was actually right about that. They just simply don't want to admit it. Uh, Liz, you and I both know that if the opposite had happened, if it had been Donald Trump hiring a high tech guy to um, covertly spy electronically on Hillary Clinton, they would be screaming about it and would be very upset. But because it happened the other way, they don't want to say anything about they it. They would probably try and impeach him even after he left the planet. Okay, yes. Hans von Spakovsky, <laughs> it's good to see you. Come back soon. We're